are talking about average cost and marginal cost. Immediately, I will come to the short run and long run, but just to look at it, how these two are related, we have already studied. What did we study? This is what we have studied. Fine, or in other word, other way to look at it, if M C is greater than A C, if marginal cost is more than average cost, it means you are adding one more unit and the cost of production is going up by more than the average cost. So, that will of course, bring the average cost up. So, in that case average cost will increase. Okay. Of course, this you can look at get from here too. Similarly, if marginal cost is less than average cost, what is happening? It will drag down the average cost and average cost will decrease. Similarly, if marginal cost is equal to average cost, it will remain same. Just reminder, no change, just to remind you. Further, if we look it from the discrete world, let us just let me just write it that M C 1 that is marginal cost to produce the first unit that is the way I am defining it will be equal to total cost to produce 1 unit minus total cost to produce 0 units. That is the way we have defined. What can we write here? What is the total cost to produce 1 unit? Total cost we can divide it into two part fixed cost plus variable cost of producing 1 unit. And again here also we can do the same thing, fixed cost and variable cost is going to be 0, because there is no output. So, if this will get cancelled. So, marginal cost to produce first unit is same as the variable cost to produce the first unit, fine. Let us go little further, what happens let us see. What about the marginal cost to produce the second unit? total cost to produce the second unit minus total cost to produce the first unit, fine. What we can write? Again this is equal to F C plus variable cost to produce two units minus this is going to be again fixed cost plus variable cost to produce one units. This will get cancelled again, fine and V C 2 minus V C 1 and what is V C 1? V C 1 is M C 1. Now, let us proceed little further. M C 3, what is it equal to? T C of 3 total cost of producing 3 units minus total cost of producing 2 units. Again remember I have defined marginal cost in one particular way, one can define it as marginal cost at level 0 also. This is just the definition, but roughly it would the idea would remain the same. And what we will get here? And what is this equal to? F c, F c will again get cancelled and V C 3 minus what is V C 2? V C 2 can be given if we take this M C 1 in this direction. V C 2 is equal to basically M C 2 plus M C 1 and here from here we can figure out V C 3 is M C 1 plus M C 2 plus M C 3 or in other word V C Q, if we just continue doing this, what we will get? V C Q is equal to M C Q plus M C Q minus 1 and till M C 1, fine. That is in the discrete world. Now, let us look at it, the calculus definition. What is 
what is m c? m c at q, this is the rate of change in total cost with respect to quantity fine or we can write it the differential change in total cost is marginal cost as q multiplied by del q. If we integrate it from 0 to some output q naught, let us say 0 to some output q naught. What we will get here? T c q naught minus T c 0 and what we will get here? What we will get here? The integration of m c q, okay? fine. Okay. What is this? Think about it. What is this? No, do not look at this side. Just explain this. What is this? Left hand side. Variable cost of producing q naught, this is variable cost of producing q naught. What is this equal to? 0 to q naught m c q d q. Look at these two definition, they are very similar, huh? aren't they? Here we are using summation, here we are using integral. Fine? Okay. Now, let us come to short run and long run marginal cost. What we have figured out, if you remember from the earlier class, this was a digression. We have, we, if you remember from the earlier class, if we draw the average cost, does not matter whether in the long run or in the short run, how can we draw the marginal cost curve? Can we draw the marginal cost curve here? Passing through the minimum, minimum of average cost curve. This is average cost, this is variable cost, is not it? fine no this is this is marginal cost sorry this is marginal cost now we can bring the earlier graph again earlier graph again let's say again we have three different we can we are fixing capital at three different level k1 k2 k3 so again this graph may not look the same but the attempt is to draw the same thing things like that. Okay, only three labels are possible. Average cost, here we have quantity. Let us say, if we draw short run marginal cost curve for k 1 label or let us say for k 1 label, can you tell me how would it look like? Black color curve passing through the minimum like this. Okay. How about if we draw short run marginal cost curve for K 2 level of capital? Same for the blue curve. And how about this? Third, it will be like this. Is it clear? Fine. Now, can you tell me if I tell you, like the earlier case, if I tell you that only three levels of capital are possible K 1, K 2, K 3 how would the long run marginal cost curve look like? Now, I am talking about long run marginal cost curve minimum. So, let me tell you to just to help you the long run average cost curve look like this by green color. Huh? It will be blue, think about it. What is happening that if let us say this is the, let me say this is q 1, this is q 2. So, what is happening in the long run? If this producer wants to produce q amount of output and if q is less than q 1, he will be using this part. He will be using in the long run k 1 bar amount of capital. If q is more than q 1, but less than q 2, this producer will be using k 2 bar amount of capital. And similarly, if q is greater than 
q 2, then he will be using k bar 3 amount of capital. So, look at it very clearly, it says that here this producer in the long run is following this graph. So, till this point, if I am allowed to extend like this. So, till this point, till q 1, the marginal long run marginal cost curve is this. Now, of course, I did not draw it. So, let me extend it like this. Let us say this is the same curve from q 1 level to q 2 level. Let me extend it further. It will be broken in the after in this level it is going to be like this and beyond this q 2 point the long run marginal cost curve will be this. Fine. Now, here in this case I restricted the level of capital at either k 1, k 2, k 3. Now, let us say in the long run this producer is allowed to vary the amount of capital the way he wants. So, of course, the better idea would be to draw all the short run average cost curve first and then the long run average cost, but we know the concept. So, I am going to do in the opposite way just because it is easier to draw. Okay. So, let me draw again. is the minimum. This is the minimum and this is the minimum. Fine. Is it clear now? This is short run marginal cost 1, short run marginal cost 2, short run marginal cost 3. Here we have quantity, here we have average cost. So, how would the long run marginal cost curve look like? First thing you should know that long run marginal cost curve will pass, should pass through the minimum of long run average cost curve. So, let us say this is the minimum. So, it should pass through here. It comes from below and it it will be a continuous curve, because here we are allowed to vary capital the way we want, but what we know that at this point at this level of output, because remember at this level of output what is happening? What do we have? S R A C is same as L R A C. Okay? Fine. So, at this level the marginal cost will be the same. So, what we know here, let me draw it, then I will explain something like this. Why? At this point, it has to be equal. We know it will pass through this bottom point and it, it is increasing, this is the way we have been drawing. Fine? Any question about this? It is not a straight, it is not a straight, it is just my drawing, it, it will be it will be like this, it can be like this. Again, it is just my poor drawing. So, all these graphs are going to be replaced later anyway. Fine? Is it clear? Fine. So, that brings an end to the discussion on long run average cost, long run marginal cost, short run average cost, short run marginal cost. Fine? Okay.